Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can take any image and turn it into a seamless pattern for a tumbler wrap. Now I have this uh, image right here and you can tell by looking at it that it is not seamless. This side is definitely not going to match up with the other side. But I'm going to show you how in Photoshop that you can take any image and make it seamless. All right. Now, yes, uh, Photoshop is a paid program, but if you do a lot of Tumblr wraps and you want to make them seamless, it's well worth the investment. You can get um, Photoshop pretty much on its own for about 10, 10 bucks a month. So it's really not that bad. Okay. So I'm going to show you real quick how we do this. Now you want to make sure that your image is sized for your tumbler right away you know it, when you bring it in here so this image is 9.3 inches wide by 8.2 inches tall exactly what i want for a tumbler all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a hold of this image and we are going to drag it to the left until the right side of it snaps to the center of the photo of the image okay then we are going to duplicate this layer and we're going to grab a hold of this one and we're going to drag it to the right until it snaps to the center. Now you can see that those two images do not match up. That is not seamless there. So now we're going to go over here and grab our rectangle tool and we are going to draw a rectangle right down over the center where these two images meet. And we're gonna click Generative Fill, and then we're gonna click Generate. And this usually takes a second, you know, a few, few seconds to a minute or so to uh, do its thing. Okay, and you see right away that made that seamless. And that's the first option. Let's see what the other options are. I don't care for that one too much. Eh, that one's okay. The head's a little funky here. Um, if you don't like any of them, you can just click Generate again, and it'll give you three more options. All right, let's see. All right. Yeah, see, we've got a headless turtle, but we had a headless turtle. He was cut off. So overall, it blended this really well. Okay. In fact, I am going to now change this to a lasso and I am going to go down here and I am going to select this darn sea turtle who's all kinds of wonky and I am going to click generative fill and I'm going to write sea turtle and now I'm going to click generate. Let's see what happens. All right. We might get a nice looking sea turtle. We might not. Well, he looks much better than the other one did. So there you go. Um, and we made this seamless. We got a better sea turtle out of it. In fact, I think I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take this guy because he's got like a fish tail, but a sea turtle body. And we are going to turn him into another sea turtle. I'll hit generate. So not only can you make your images seamless, if there's little things that you need to fix, you can do that too. And we'll see uh, how it does with this one. And that's a little bit of a weird looking sea turtle. That one looks a little better. Let's see what this one looks like. Eh, let's go back here to that one. He looks like he's swimming away from us. Okay, so anyway, once you have it, Let's check this suit. See, I think I like that sea turtle best, okay? So let's keep him and that one. Once you have everything the way you want it, you're gonna go over here and select all your layers and you're gonna select merge, okay? Now, once you have them merged, you're gonna go Control A to select your canvas and then control J to duplicate it. And we're going to go over here and delete the first layer, the original layer. So now we have our new layer again. Okay. And we're going to repeat the process. We're going to move this one over until it snaps in the middle. 
And again, we're going to duplicate the layer and we're going to drag it to the right. And now you see it all matches up perfectly. So once again, we are going to merge these. And now we can export that as a PNG. And let's go sea turtle test. All right, we'll save that. Now, to make sure this is what we thought it's supposed to be, a seamless pattern, we're going to go up here to Chrome, and we're going to go to Seamless Pattern Checker, which is just patternchecker.com. And let's scroll down and find that sea turtle test. And it is, in fact, a seamless pattern on the sides. We don't have to worry about the top or bottom because this is for a tumbler. So the top and bottom is completely irrelevant when it comes to a pattern. It's the sides we have to worry about. And you can see that it looks really nice, it looks seamless, and it's gonna look seamless on your tumbler. So that is how you make a image that isn't seamless, seamless in Photoshop. If you have any questions, um, drop them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.